just a short glimpse here at the business class. In 2019, I visited Pakistan for the first time. My PR review was watched over 1.5 million times and I was even invited on national TV. But now, it was time to come back, not just for the fantastic tea, but to get a taste of the rest of the country and all of its aviation treasures. This video is the first of my Pakistan aviation tour. I got to visit the PIA crash site, found an old record setting Boeing 720 in Karachi. I got to take the pilot seat on Muhammad Ali Jinnah's very own plane. I almost joined the Pakistani Air Force and got to interview Johnny Sadiq, a legendary PIA pilot. I also got to try some great new airlines as well as some not so great airlines. However, the highlight of this trip must have been my flight to Gilgit, which was a real adventure. But let's start my Pakistan aviation tour with AirBlue. Hey guys, a wonderful good evening from Dubai and my Pakistan adventure is just about to start. Today I'll be flying AirBlue, the second largest airline in Pakistan and you probably all remember my trip in 2019 which was so much fun. I really got to love this country and this trip is already off to a very interesting start because when I checked in I was approached by someone who took me straight to the check-in counter and he said Josh we were expecting you already so somebody must have told them that I'm coming. However, um, uh, I want to be upfront with you, I want to be honest with you. So today is going to be a, still a different review, but I said like, what am I going to do now, you know? So I'm still going to try to give you an impression what it's like to fly Air Blue, but today is going to be a little different. So I have no idea what to expect on board, whether they have a cake prepared or what it is. They gave me one aid, they said the seat next to me is blocked. So yeah, it's going to be <laughs> quite of a different uh, flight review, but these kind of things happen. But I just wanted to communicate them with you guys so you all know. So do this, let's fly Air Blue to Islamabad. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Ever since I started to travel, I use a VPN because I want my data and passwords to be protected and that's one of the many things Surfshark does for me. Plus, you can use them on all your devices. But it also helps me to access all Netflix libraries all around the world. I can also watch the highlights of my favorite football team from anywhere in the world by simply changing my IP address. Um, another good perk, I also save money by finding cheaper flights through Surfshark VPN by changing my location. And the great thing is, you can do the same. If you use the link in the description box below, you will get 83% discount plus three additional months for free. On top of that, you support my channel. Now, let's go back to the review. So even though I'm flying economy, I have lounge access thanks to my priority pass. So it's the Mahaba lounge here at Terminal 3 uh, in Dubai, the only one open. So let's go and uh, check it out what it's like. The Mahaba lounge is pretty all right. It offers a buffet, alcoholic beverages, drinks and snacks, as well as shower facilities. However, if I didn't have the priority pass, I probably wouldn't pay $52 for two hours of access since that money is better spent elsewhere. However, it was still a nice lounge. So I'm at the gate now, B8. Interesting, like last time I flew from this terminal, I flew Jazeera Airways and it was also B8 and I was also recognized by the cabin manager. So <laughs> um, it must be the gate. Let's blame the gate for this. Gotta say that we already have a two hour delay, uh, which is kind of annoying, but uh, people are now queuing up. I think boarding might be starting very soon or not. It definitely going to be interesting to see what treatment we're going to receive um, on the flight. Uh, so when I was in the queue, I was like, oh my God, why am I doing this to myself? And it's going to be a busy flight. It's going to be a full flight. And then uh, now I'm like kind of excited, but this is Pakistan. Like I don't know, for them, it's all about hospitality and to treat guests nice. And I have no idea how they figured out that I'm on this flight. They must have gotten a hint from someone uh, but yeah it's something else today and uh, I like the slogan as well flying redefined so high bar right there hey let's fly to Islamabad I'm very very excited to return to Pakistan
So, and there she is, my ride to Islamabad, just arrived from Peshawar, and uh, this Airbus A220 has been delivered seven years ago from Airbus to uh, Air Blue. It has been flying with them ever since. I'm not sure about the configuration inside. I found um, a few seat maps. I don't know which one is the one that they're still using or whether they have reconfigured. So we're gonna find that out in a few minutes. Hey, how are you? Good? Yes, hold on. Got it somewhere. Well, so, and here we are. Welcome on board Air Blue's Airbus A320. So, the station manager took me on board first. And uh, standard A320, uh, 180 seats outside, and I scored, yeah. I was given 1A, so I got heaps of leg room. Uh, so this is the recline. It's like minimal, a few centimeters. Um, yeah. What else? What else can I show to you? Probably not that much. So usually they're not selling business class or anything like this. And this is why I said like, I found some seat maps that had like a two, two configuration, like 12 seats. Uh, but as you can see, uh, there is a divider between uh, the first two rows and the rest of the cabin. So I uh, don't know how they handle it or what they do it. Maybe you know it, so let me know in the comment section below. But what I like, uh, the crew is very anal on uh, social distancing. So they stop people, so they are boarding in bulks. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice to see. But uh, yeah, they're giving me a weird looks for filming. So I'm going to put the camera away for now and then I'm going to give you more updates a little later. Shortly after boarding, we were pushed back and started our engines for the three-hour journey to Pakistan. Most nationalities are legible for visas on arrival if you apply before departure. It only takes a few minutes. So we are airborne and uh, thanks to the delay we got some really nice views because the sun um, was just about to set. Uh, Kevin, Kevin manager came, introduced herself, um, being very lovely and what else can I tell you about Air Blue apart from the fact that it's the second biggest airline in, in Pakistan at the moment. They have a fleet of 10 321s and 320s. They used to have an Airbus A340 which they operated from Islamabad to um, Manchester back in the days but that service was uh, discontinued and then they had a service between Islamabad and Manchester on a 321 with a stop in Istanbul that has also stopped yeah I don't know what the ambitions are of the airline whether they're gonna try to extend uh, their network they only have flights to Dubai Abu Dhabi and Saudi Arabia in terms of international flights so uh, yeah Maybe you're going to keep an eye on them and see what's going to happen. But there's a new airline now, uh, which I'm going to review uh, as well on this trip. It's called Air Seal, And they only started operating this year. Uh, also, uh, right now, only domestically. But they seem to be very ambitious. And uh, perhaps they'll be starting international flights as well. Heard a lot of good things about them. So I can't wait to try them um, from Karachi to Islamabad uh, next week. So, yeah. That my Pakistan trip is about to start. So, welcome to the Louvre View here on Air Blue. Got some wet wipes, some hand sanitizer. Uh, a reminder to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, something I'm gonna do. And then, uh, yeah, this is it for, for the Louvre. Nothing special here. Um, it looks a little dark and I have a feeling, I don't know whether it's me, if I'm getting bitter, bigger, <laughs> if I get bitter, bigger, or loser getting smaller on the Titanis, but uh, yeah, still like two and a half hours to go. Oh, 
so I'm very surprised that we have a meal on this flight and uh, I could choose between a vegetarian option or a chicken so I went for the chicken because you know I don't really like vegetables that much um, it comes with a uh, a mango juice, some sort of dessert, and uh, a yogurt. That's what we're being served here on this flight. Uh, was giving free of charge, which else is quite surprising, but now let's see what it tastes like, but it smells very good already. So the award for the longest announcement of any pilot on any of my flights ever, uh, definitely goes to Air Blue uh, for, I'd say 10 minutes. The captain was talking to us, telling him, he's, I mean, he's still now doing it in order. He's talking about the flight path today, what we see on our flight, and uh, what the weather is like, and fleet they have, which airplanes they have. Um, yeah, it was quite interesting. <laughs> Food is really lovely. Very, very lovely. Full of flavors. And it tastes really good. I also want to point out that the gentleman next to me was asked by me whether he had a problem to appear in my video, to which he responded with no problem boss and asked me whether I speak French, which I don't. He then gave his belly a slap and continued to mind his own business. So unexpected, the crew had a little gift prepared for me with uh, a pencil. No idea what that is, but I definitely know what we have in here. And this is an Air Blue Airbus 321 and uh, an airplane model. So let's turn this into a little giveaway. So all you have to do is give the video a like and leave a comment. So among all the comments, I'm going to give away this airplane model by the end of the month. So good luck and thanks for your comment. some very interesting scenes passengers like standing up reaching for their luggage but the cabin crew the ladies put them in place well done <laughs> thank you for everything hey see ya so what you see over there is the high fly 330 which is currently operating the london flights for pia since they are banned from European airspace at the moment, so this one is doing the London service. Also up in arrival, I was greeted by some very lovely Air Blue staff, which helped me with my luggage and they were really kind to organize a taxi for me. Once again, thank you a lot, Air Blue. So guys, I made it. I'm at the hotel finally and it's also so nice to be back in Pakistan. Even the boys at the reception, they knew my video is so such a great welcome. And what to say? You know, sometimes airlines are a little bit smarter than I am. Um, Air Blue figured it out somehow that I was coming and that is what I love about Pakistan, the hospitality, that they always try to do the very best for their guests. So they figured it out that was coming well played and I salute them and the crew was fantastic. Apart from that one girl, she was a bit grumpy. Maybe she didn't like me. <laughs> it was definitely a great surprise and um, the hard product wasn't anything outstanding. It wasn't anything that I haven't seen before and it was definitely not flying redefined. Created once again some very memorable um, experiences. So what can I say other than what a plot twist it was, you know, and that's what I love about uh, flying and that's what I love about aviation. You never know what there might be happening. Um, also, thank you, thank you so much for uh, this back, Air Blue. And as I said, like among all the comments, I'm gonna give away this beautiful Air Blue Airbus A321 uh, model. Doesn't matter what you comment, uh, you can say anything you like, um, and then I will pick a winner. And by the end of the one end of the month, I'm gonna give it away. This should be it for today's video. This is it, guys. If you want to support my videos, give it a like because if you give a like and a comment, you are in the draw for this beautiful airplane model. And uh, check out my Patreon uh, if you want to support my channel. And other than that, guys, wherever you're off to, uh, yeah, have a safe trip and stay safe. <laughs>